just seen this comment and it says also can you make a reaction video about can Garo and Saitama destroy galaxy from at Davion2246 sure let's give it a look let's give the live reaction did Garo and Saitama destroy galaxies short answer yes but let's see what this guy says Oh, it's one of these videos. Okay. Problems with the feet as presented. Most people think that the fatter end of the serious point square energy created the hole in the stars, but this isn't true for several reasons. What? We later see the angle that fatter end was pointed towards. We can discern this from the angle of what is presumably God's spine in the back of the moon and from the fact that the panel is Garo's POV looking at Earth from the direction of Ju- What? Dude, you're overanalyzing. This is wrong on so many levels. But let's continue. <laughs> We know that this side of the beam is heading towards Jupiter based on the position of the God Spine crater in the back of the moon. Most people say the energy in this direction is what apparently wiped out millions of stars. Yes, it did. Woo! This is a completely different scan. So what if the narrower beam is what created the hole in the stars? After all, we can see that if it was expanding outwards, well, there's a pro- What the fuck? Is this man seriously trying to accurately see what the correct direction is through scans? You can't be serious. Oh, this is wrong on so many levels. Jupiter is in here somewhere, but Jupiter is one of the most luminous objects in the sky. What are we doing here? Dude, based on the direction you've shown, this is the direction. Instead of us getting a sideways view, we have a front view. This is literally the direction of the explosion. This is literally the direction. Pretend like you're walking towards the screen. Jupiter would be in that direction. If you're walking towards the screen and somebody's in the screen and they're walking towards the screen to get out of the panel, Jupiter would be in that direction. But if you turn it back to its side, Like so, that's the side view. Jupiter is, Saitama and Gara went to the right. And when you switch the view like this, it literally went from right and it turned it to the, to the front view. That, that's literally what this is. Your sense of direction isn't correct on this shit, dude. Jupiter isn't that way. It's the opposite direction of the hole. Finally, there's the issue of the speed of light. That is, unless OPM has a different speed of light than IRL, 
even if the Ceres Prime Square wiped out all of those stars, we wouldn't be able to see that this is the case unless it also wiped out the light traveling from those stars to Earth in between. It would instead look like this. All right, so what? Though it is so hard to believe it wiped out the light. Actually, I agree 100%. We know that it wiped out the light because there is a visible black spot. There is still a problem, though, a huge one, in fact. If we accept that the blast is capable of erasing light particles, which it appears we must, then we logically have no way to actually know if even a single star was wiped out or merely the light in that direction. Basically, we have no way of knowing sweet mother of god this is literally an appeal to reality fallacy that he's implementing dude people don't do this no this is wrong on so many levels and all you're doing is creating unnecessary freaking confusion by this freaking logic no fiction no, no fictional character in one punch man should be the speed of light because in order to move faster than the speed of light you need infinite mass you can't do that with a physical body in real life stop appealing to reality so much you create an unnecessary confusion dude <laughs> Earth, obviously not a scale. Light traveling to Earth, stars and galaxies. <laughs> Problems with content, all right, but isn't it obvious what Murata is trying to show us? Well, no. Based on the content surrounding the panel and the entire rest of the fight, for one, Every other significant jump in the power scale of OPM is shown in great detail. One, two, three, four. But apparently, the biggest one of all is shown in a single incredible vague panel, not even elaborated on again. Why does it need to be elaborated on again? Okay. And even if we are going to say that, to say the attack went in the other direction, the argument doesn't change as we can see stars in the other direction as well. Dude, this is simply inconsistency in the stars being drawn in the background. That's literally all this is. <laughs> That void, the way all the stars were clustered and the galaxies were clustered together during that Sears Prince square picture, it doesn't even look like that because it's just inconsistencies with the drawing. That's all it is. You think he's going to draw the way the stars and galaxies look in the background the same every single scan? Hell no. He's gonna drop some shit there and that's it. And on top of that, the way that blast looked, that shit was up. That shit was facing up. <laughs> One punch, man. The entire solar system is threatened with unthinkable happening. So, time I get serious, read it free for the official source. <laughs> yeah, don't no. Just stop. This this feed ain't no solar system, dude. Ain't no solar system at max. That, 
that's beyond disingenuous. How the fuck you gonna sit here and say something in solar system at max when countless stars and galaxies got eradicated? You 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 did a bunch of nonsense for nothing, dude. It's so simple. This man overanalyzed and fucked up bad. This man says this, this energy, this is bad. The earth will be shattered, indicating that is energy of destruction and it's going to destroy the earth. You teleport soon, they collide. The gate can't handle this much energy. I can't give it enough distance. No matter what, I've got to somehow manage to at least alter the vector of the destructive energy away from the goddamn earth. What are we doing? Don't underestimate earth. His homies come in, lend him a hand, and send that shit flying in the opposite direction, and you hear the boom. Do you know what the boom sound indicate? Sound effect indicates. It indicates destruction, dude. Boom, a loud, deep, resonant sound. Make a loud, deep, resonant sound. If y'all don't know, when it comes to manga and, and, and shit, boom is what showcase when you get an, an explosion. Shit gets fired off in the opposite direction. Boom. Then they show you the big ass fucking void, dude. That was energy of destruction that got sent off in the other direction. Everything in the vicinity got freaking destroyed, dude. Jupiter is not in that goddamn direction. What are we doing? Jupiter is in the opposite direction from now. And you see how everything is drawn in such detail? The galaxies and the stars and the planets. How everything is just covering and, and, and how the Earth looks. But then you get these scans. That shit ain't it ain't a huge clusterfuck anymore. He just put some dots of light there and boom. You can tell which one's a galaxy, so. Found it. If it's in range of my vision, I can teleport there. I had some luck left after all. He's building up the nuclear fission. And he smacks him in the face. When Garo teleports, he activates the hyperspace gate. This ain't no teleportation. They're literally still right next to Jupiter. Literally. He charged up his, his freaking fist. You see him charging that bitch up. And he smacks him in the face. And he takes off. Adios. He didn't send no Saitama into the sun. They literally show him using the hyperspace gate to get away. And you see now that there's much of a close up on Earth. You see a bunch of stars and galaxies in the background. Look at look at all these goddamn dots, bro. You, you y'all y'all see this shit? Look at all this shit. Look at all this shit. But when you go back here, you barely see anything. You see some shit scattered about, but not as much. It ain't the same freaking detail. Dude, do not use the inconsistencies of the drawings as proof. Stop that. That is a terrible argument. That you you overanalyzed way too much, man. You you did way too much, man. You you did way too much. Galaxies are in the background, man. They're in the freaking background. So the actual level of that feat is they wiped out countless planets, countless stars, and countless galaxies. All of that shit got wiped the fuck out. So you sitting here talking about some defeat is solar system level at maximum. That is just beyond disingenuous. I don't know what you thought you was going to accomplish by this, but no. No. What the, the fuck? What are we doing? I ain't going to lie. This was low-key a waste of time. Do we have any comments in the comment section? No? Good. Let me drop that dislike. Y'all can watch his videos if y'all want to. I really don't give a fuck. 
But leave your leave your thoughts in the comment section. This is what it looks like to overanalyze people. A lot of the times, it is not good to overanalyze. Stick with the information they give you. When they're making shit clear that there has been an explosion in that direction and that's energy of destruction and that shit, dude, shit's been destroyed. What he did was completely unnecessary. It was completely unnecessary. He did too much. He did too much and it was unnecessary. And because of that, he came to a false conclusion.